Hey, we got movement in the attic. We hear this is the moment Lee County deputies got an accused sexual predator out of his attic. That man is charged with sexually assaulting a teenager at Chandler Hall Park in Tice while she was walking to school yesterday morning. NBC2's Muhammad Abdul Kowi is live at the park. And Muhammad, I gotta say, as a dad of daughters, this is the kind of stuff that keeps me up at night. That's right, Peter. There's a lot of families here. I've been speaking to them all day. They were devastated that something like this happened in an area like this. As you can see behind me, there is a lot of families here. There's a lot of kids right here. But let's walk you through exactly what happened. So we're taking a, this is where exactly where it started. You're taking a look right here uh, at the bus stop where she was at um, before 6 a.m. This is on Royal Palm Park Road. This is where the man confronted her on a bike. Now it's going to take you over here exactly where it happened. This is where the man can sexually assaulted her um, at this playground. Deputies searched this entire area for hours, eventually finding him at his house a few blocks away. Hey, you hear that? Hey, come down. Hey, we got movement in the attic. We hear right the attic. You're watching body camera video from Lee County deputies raiding a home on Prospect Avenue. They were searching for this man, Raymond de Jesus. He was hiding in his attic for several hours. A teen said he sexually assaulted her on the playground at Chandler Hall Park early Thursday morning. I cannot believe that Raymond, he's an ex-brother-in-law, would even do something like this to a child. You know, like this girl was vulnerable. We met Esmeralda Zamora yesterday at the park. She came back today searching for answers. After we told her De Jesus was the suspect, she was almost walked away because she was couldn't believe her ears. He's led a lot of police officers on a lot of chases, I know that much, but I mean, Nobody would have thought of anything like this, not ever in a thousand years. Deputies used tear gas to make him get out of the attic and into handcuffs. Today, still leaving residents in fear around their neighborhood. For me, it's concerning, but for me, it just it just opens my eyes a little bit more. I just got to be more cautious, especially, you know, with my siblings. I have little siblings. I just got to be more cautious with, with them. Deputies were able to identify the man because she told them what he looked like and what bike he was riding. Records show deputies arrested him back in 2020 for looking in windows of another home where a teen was taking a shower. For now, we're live and local here in Tice, Muhammad Abdul Kawi, NBC2.